Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Moonmist, and we are going to be continuing to do some more adventuring in Interior Odyssey 2. We'll continue to do the quest until I can get the quest to do to open the Sixth Sanctum. But until then, we'll just keep doing what we can. Right, but I did when I was grinding manage to get a couple of items for a quest. So let's get these out. Okay. Oh, hi. How can I help? I've been waiting for you. Excellent. We all need a moment to synthesize the medication. Thanks for waiting. Please take this to the Flynus Inn. Mm. Oh, haha. <laughs> the medicine is very bitter, you see? So she won't drink it if I deliver it. But she really likes you. I bet she'd drink anything you brought her. I know it's a little extra work, but it's for her sake. Please make sure she gets it. <coughs> oh, hello. Mom, it's full moon. They're here. <coughs> oh, hello, my lovelies. You brought the medicine. I'm touch you took the time out of your schedule to do this for us. We really owe you. Here, have some water, honey. Now drink the medicine. These nice explorers brought you. <coughs> Ugh, well... <coughs> it tastes so bad. Good girl, you drank it all right down. They're usually so stubborn. Or you're usually so stubborn about it. Maybe we should ask you all to fetch the medicine every time. Ha ha ha. I always drink it, Mom. Stupid. Uh-oh, the flower is still blooming. I'm taking good care of it. The charm I made, it must have withered. I'll make you another one, okay? Get well soon, so you can take me there again. <coughs> Thank you so much, Full Moon. Alright, sweetie. Time to take a rest. Up to bed. Thanks so much, loves. You've done a lot for us. Your reward is back at the bar. Don't forget to pick it up. Well, we got her the medicine that she needed. Alright. Wait, done alright? Already done? Is that right? Great. Glad to hear it. You always stay with them. I bet it felt good to pay them back a bit, eh? Here's your reward. Come back in time. Alright. So I get ooh, okay, we're really getting close to finishing all the quests that are available, so that's good. Uh but you're just in time. We have a problem. The innkeeper's daughter is missing. Really? She's missing already? Guards corpse are looking for her, but she should pitch in as well. Oh the inn the inn. Yeah, if you have time, I'll help out there first. We're counting on you. What where'd she go now? Oh, did Castanio? Everyone's being so generous. I'm afraid it's true. My little girl is missing. Oh, I'm so worried. But I mustn't panic. I have to stay calm. That's what being a keeper is all about. You came here, didn't you? Thank you so much. Oh, yes, the details. When I woke up this morning, my daughter was gone. I looked over Lingard, but I couldn't find her anywhere. Do you have any ideas? She might be at the place that we took her last time, so maybe... Is that right? Well, if you say so, it must be true. I believe in you, so please take care of my daughter. Oh, it, she might be at the same spot that we took her last time. I was in the frozen ground. Not sure why she would go in a dangerous place by herself, though. Alright, let's quickly see if we could find her. Top priority. Okay. Uh, go this way. Ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. All right. Uh, 
Alright, okay, so I'm not exactly sure when it went back to that screen. Not really sure, but... Okay, there you go, we found her. As you pass through the snow fields, you see a silhouette and breathe a sigh of relief. The small faint figure must be the innkeeper's daughter. It was the quest that you accepted at the bar that brought you here. You find the little girl's whereabouts. She's crouched over, working tensely on something. Oh, full moon. Hello. She strains uh, as you approach, and you can see that her hands are full of white clovers. Your charm, it withered away, so I was picking flowers to make you a new one. It seems she fashioned a new accessory from the labyrinth's clovers. Uh, she really shouldn't have gone by herself, but... No. You smile and gently warn her of the dangers that she may have faced. I'm, I'm sorry. If I knew... If I... I know if I told someone, they would say no. You climb and pat her on the head and praise her for her efforts making her before taking her home. You feel an ominous presence behind you and instinctively grab the hilt of your weapon. You have no notions of when it appeared, but you face a powerful adversary. Three necks, a spear, sharp horn, foul yellow eyes, blue scale, it's a dragon. You free, seeing the claws that are clenched into Innkeeper's daughter. She breathes, but unconscious. She must have not had time to even scream. The dragon's twelve eyes pierce through you, and its three heads are giving a mocking howl. You clutch your ears at the high screech noise as a dragon soars into the sky. You attempt to give chase, but it disappears southeast side of the forest. The situation is grim. You must chase the dragon if you wish to save her life. Jeez, oh, man. Okay, so I said east side. But where exactly do I need to go? Alright, uh. I said east side of the dungeon. Oh, it's... no. Where am I supposed to go? Okay, oh, okay, I see. I need to go to the 13th floor. Oh, I see where I need to go. Okay. Okay, now I know. Okay, I need to go this way. And uh, you see a white silhouette as you move through the forest. You remember the previous assignment to find that Duke's ice tomb. That element before you know is unquestionably the same as the one you saw then. It points to the path leading south and disappears after nodding ones. What could it be? Uh, maybe the ghost of the Duke? But our quest is to save the little girl. Alright, so let's get going. Because we have to save her. Alright. I don't have time for these things. And I need to... 
go this way. And where else do we need to go? Or did I go in the wrong spot? I think I went the wrong way. Did I go the right way? Yeah, I can't remember how exactly to go over here. Okay, now, okay, never mind. I figured it out. Ugh, these gels. Okay, here we go. We're in the place where the ice... Possibly the ice dragon, I think? Alright, I should probably try to get my boost up out of the force. Maybe, I don't know. Alright, so just in case that you drop a quick save. After walking such a long core path, you finally find the terrible dragon. Then the innkeeper's daughter laying a moving at its feet. Praying for her safety, you knuckle whiten your weapon as you prepare for battle. <sighs> okay, I think, uh, well, might as well try. Alright, uh, curse cut. Uh, do mana wall. Uh, we're okay. We'll do dampen, then bravery. Well, okay, so good to know that mana wall actually sucks. It's not that good. Uh, unless they nerfed it all. I'm gonna have to replace that with ice. Uh, but man, they. S okay. Mm, fragility. All right, yeah, now gotta regroup. All right. Try that again. Right. Uh... Okay, it only covers two, the three. It's not good. Alright, uh, revive. Alright, this is gonna be a pain. Salve. Uh, gotta do damping again. Oh. Fragility. Got everything, so we're good.
Mm. Okay, he has fragility, but not dampen anymore. Oh, well, that's not good. Okay. Hmm. All right, this is much more difficult than I thought it would be. I'm probably going to have to rework this and get Ice Wall instead. Maybe. Because Mana Wall is not really that good. Unless Ice Wall will still be the same thing. Alright, well, I'll try again. Hmm. Actually, I have a breacher. I almost forgot about that skill. Okay, so we're gonna have to regroup. Hopefully she'll be okay. Okay, I can't do that right now. So we're gonna need to regroup. Oh boy. Ah, uh, bad news. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess you don't want to know what happens to your daughter. Okay, that's fine. We're all gonna do our best trying to rescue her. <sighs> and I rest Wendy. Oh, cool, I got the achievement. Now then, uh, we're gonna do uh, ice wall. Okay, so do ice wall. Guess we gotta have smite. Gotta have HP. Nope. And we gotta have a. Uh, Vitality. Okay, I think do that. I'm going to try to see if we can block. And we've got four more points. Um, try provoke, see if that helps. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm going to re-level her up. So let's just uh, do the other quest, since I can't do the dragon just yet. What other do we have that we can do? Specimen collection, we can do that one for now while we try to grind up on some levels.
Okay. So, okay, let's do the specimen collection real quick. So we need to go to floor nine. Which I think should be, yeah, two levels down from here. Oh, so let's do it. Okay. I can do that. Uh, do curse cut. Smite. Uh, just do regular healing. Dampen. Bravery. There we go. Alright, so we are going one more floor down. Oh, it's going to be a while before we can recover the five level. But uh, we'll see. Okay, that's all fine. Just low attack. There we go. Okay, now that we are here, we need to go to E5. Okay, uh, okay, a little bit more down. Okay, I think I know where I need to go. As you step in the small gathering, you feel a strange presence taking a step back. Oh, there. Warn me when you're about to do that. It appears the doctor assistant since no danger. She seems to have been a nasty collision with with rendering eye, re retreating eye. You apologize to her while keeping an eye on your surroundings. You stand be there for some time, but all there is that you hear is soft falling leaves. As you inspect the trees nearby more closely, you notice that they're in a withered state. What's the strange liquid, and what's this scratching it, too? You know she's investigating the very place where you felt a strange presence. You snap closer to her, seeing that she's using tools from her bag to scrape off the liquid. Several other trees are coated with the liquid. You can see a pair of scratches on them. The markings in the liquid must be related to the disease. But what was that presence? Well, to just stand there, I have some sample we came for. Let's hurry back home. 
The assistant stores some of the liquid in her bag and prepares to return to Langard. I have medical training, you know. If anyone falls on the way home, I know what to do. As a doctor's assistant, I'll do whatever is necessary to treat any wounds you have received. But that'll probably mean we have to get another sample, so be careful on the way back. Oh, and I forgot my iron thread. Sorry to ask, but please don't use yours, or I'll be stranded here alone. Let's do our best and head back to the Tealing Garden. You know an agreement and leave the area. Well then, I guess we can't use our thread to get back. Uh, let's see, what is the closest way out of here, though? Okay, I can retreat or just go up to 10. No, we'll just go back up. Because that'd be the closest. Alright, let's get rid of this real quick. There we go. Still sucks that FOEs don't give you any experience. <laughs> All right, just gonna get back. Okay, almost out. Okay, here we go. Now we can use this. Ooh, a ge geometric field. I can return to Lingard from here. I'll head back first. Let's meet up on the central city. The citizen nods to you as she teleports back to Lingard. You can remain to the labyrinth to explore or follow her back. Well, of course, we're going to follow her back. As you enter the central city, the citizen comes running towards you. Welcome back. I was waiting for you. You took your time. Why were you doing something else? Girl, we literally just came back as soon as you left. It was like, what, well, a couple of minutes after you, even seconds at that. Come on. The sensor gives you a worried smile and talks to you, to, talks to you with you before returning to the hospital. The quest is complete. Report your success to the bar when you wish. All right, well, with that, I am going to go and drink some water, so I'll be right back. I'm back. Uh, nothing beats some nice, cold, refreshing water. Alright, there we go. We've completed the quest. You're late. I heard that assistant is quite a far-fetched glass. Uh, were you, were you on a date with her strolling through the forest? You lucky skunks? Nah, well, I wish I would take the job instead. Ha ha ha. Jokes aside, here's your reward. Come back anytime. 
rescue operation. All right, uh, perfect timing. I wanted to give you this job, Tia. You remember the doctor assistant that left the last you took into the forest? It appears she's gone missing. The doctor is desperate, and he was looking for you earlier. Run over to the hospital so you can get the details from him. Good luck. Ah, Fulman, I'm glad you came. I was worried when Cass didn't know where you were. I asked the flan and I literally was at the... I was literally at his bar. Come on now. I know technically this is supposed to be like spaced out, but still. I was at the bar, I just finished the previous quest, and now I'm starting this quest. So I don't know how you can wonder where I was. I was literally at the bar. Alright, I asked Flannis in, and they sat there and you were out. I was about to search for you. Do you remember my assistant who went in to get some samples of the withered trees? I haven't seen her all day. If I... No, of course not. The experimental cell for the disease is gone too. She must have taken it into the forest. But we don't know if it'll work yet, and going there alone is practically suicide. The trees closest to the geometric field are on the 15th floor. She must have headed there. Please don't let anything happen to her. Help her, I'm begging you. No, of course. Let me just uh, sell some stuff real quick. There we go. And do I... Okay, I do have two threads, so that's good. And we'll deposit this item. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and go to the 15th floor, which is... Is it the pedal? Oh yeah, pedal. Just one lower. Alright, well, looks like I'm gonna have to fight the boss over here again. Alright, uh, curse cut. I smite. Dampen bravery. Okay, curse cut, smite, fragility. All right, she's almost been defeated. There we go. Perfect. All right. So I need to go to the entrance. Right, there we go. Eek, don't come near me. You turn to face the screams and see a familiar uniform against the ice and snow. It's assistant from the hospital, surrounded by dangerous monsters. You call out here, but she doesn't notice and runs deeper into the forest. The monsters follow close behind her in pursuit. If you wish to save her, you must defeat all the monsters before they can reach her. Take weapon in hand and destroy all the adversaries before you. Well, well that's fine. A mawfish. Okay, they're all destroyed. Once the last fiend has been fallen, you see the assistant peek the head behind a nearby tree. You succeed in saving her life. Did you come here to save me? I'm sorry, I... No, we, we, we don't really scold people. You give a small sigh. <sighs> and the assistant turns pale, realizing her blunder. I'm sorry, but even after we had the medication, the others wouldn't let us test it. I have a bad habit of running headlong into things. I'll be more careful next time. Thanks. You asked whether the cell she staked her life for was at least effective. Oh yes, it worked wonder, and you can see the effects already. Once we manufacture more, we can see heal all the trees. Her fear of moments ago has been replaced entirely with boundless enthusiasm. Startled by her sudden change in attitude, 
She uses her Adrenian thread to return to Langar. And the quest is a success. Report back to the bar. All right. All right. Got a couple more items. And I uh, should probably buy a couple more threads. All right, go. All right, back to the bar. All right. Rescue mission is now done. Ah, oh, welcome back. Looks like you're done. Huh? How do I know? Why? Because this sister came back and asked me to thank you for her. Looks like she really did down yourselves this time. But still, that doctor and assistant are a odd pair, don't you think? The girl looks sick by the skin of her teeth, and she's just tapping the cell fork. She's crazy. Well done, though. Here's the reward. Come back in time. You, you're taking that quest? What? No, I was laughing for no reason. I'm no freak. Another job from the dock, you see. Looks like he's got some good news for you. Why don't you head over to the hospital and ask about him yourself? Okay, we'll do that once we take a little... Mm, no, we'll just take a sleep. And we'll store that one item. There we go. Alright. Yes, can I help you? Oh, you can't, thank you. Do you remember the medicine my assistant was testing solo? The one for the withered trees in North Northern Academy finally proved its use. It's called for celebration if it weren't for you. Oh, there you are, Doctor. Everyone is here. Please hurry. Oops, sorry. I lost track of time, so I'm unprepared. Anyhow, I'd like you to... Come on now. Everything's ready. You have to go. That man, when he gets started on medicine, it's like he enters another world. Anyway, we should go too. Hmm? Wait, didn't he tell you anything? But it looks like he was talking so much. Oh, I can't believe him. Okay, I'll explain. The cell phone's testing was accepted by Northern Cam Academy for general use. So we'd like you to come into the labyrinth and travel supply to four areas. Northern west the second floor, northern east the sixth, uh, south of nine, the center of fifteen. If anyone is injured in such, they can't walk. We'll put the whole expedition on hold. As you expect, the outing of doctors and their assistants is very safe cautions. I'll come with you. Just trying to make sure no one gets heavily injured. Now, shall we head out? Alright. So, first we go to Okay, so we need to go up one. Gotta go to two. Okay, these are just small fry. Doing more than a thousand damage to each of them, which is pretty cool. But then again, we are really over leveled for this place. Ba, ba, ba. Not sure which quest unlocks the succinct them though. But in the meantime, we'll just continue to do all this. So we need to go to B2, which I think should be in that one little corner spot. Right where the chest is. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, once I defeat beat this game completely, I think I might take a break from Terran Odyssey and really do play Persona S. Maybe I don't know. Anyway. The assistant pushes you forward as you step into the room. We made it. Let's get started. She digs into your bag, removes various tools. You're spellbound to watch her work. Okay, all done. Don't worry. The trees around here should be good as new. Immediately, by your unyielding smile and resolve, you move forward. 
All right. So we're just going to go use a thread and go and skip a few. And here we should go to B6. It should be over here somewhere. Well, it's you. Oops, wrong accidentally. Auto. Okay. Nope. Maybe that one corner room over there, maybe. Yep, here we go. The system pushes you forward as you step into the room. We made it. Let's get started. As she digs into her bag, we we'll use various tools, your spellbound, all done. Alright, it's pretty much the same thing as last time. Next, we need to go to floor 9. Should be slightly below. Yep. Just one, two floors down. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we made it over here. Oh, almost. Okay, so we need to go to E5. Okay, it's going to be at the very bottom again. There we go. The system pushes you forward as you step into the room. You mean it. Let's get started. She digs into her bag with these various tools. Mm -hmm, your spell bam, yada yada yada, same stuff as before. Okay, and one more is going to be at 4.15. Okay. That should be underneath the pedal. But didn't she technically heal this area though? Technically she did. When she was doing her first experiment to see if it worked. Maybe it wasn't strong enough, I guess. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I know, it's probably a different location then. Uh, where would it be? It's 4.15. Uh. 
Well, it's not night time, so I can't take the... Oh, it's two more hours, but by the time it is... We could win. We could just go around. Alright. Oh, okay, well, looks like I'm ready. Maxed on items. But we should be almost there. There we go. We step into the room that says push past you. Yep. Ooh, eek. Alarmed by your scream, she looked to see a bizarre new monster slush downward at the assistant. She dodges quick, but the blood welling up from a small cut has swelled into a peat. You have no choice but to draw your weapon and face the fiend head on to protect her. An invader, huh? There we go. No match for your powerful strikes. The monster goes belly up with a resounding thud. Seemingly obviously to the peril she was just in, the assistant examines her head. Hmm, do you think the monster had something to do with the disease? Curious, you look closer and see the liquid from before on the monster's fang. The incisors, the space between the sides consistent with the scratches on the trees. I'd better find the doctor and let him know. You... Help treat the wound on her arm and finish up the work here. As you're well aware, she is not considered part of the full moon. And due to her, to her continued misfortune, she does not possess any thread. If you use a thread to return, she'll be left alone in the labyrinth. <sighs> of course. Must return by foot or access the field. May luck be with you. Lovely. Alright, so let's see how far it's going to be. The Actually, no, if I just go back where it came from, I should be able to return. So let's just... There we go. Now it should be cold enough. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Alright, well, with that, I should be able to go back now. Luckily, it's not too far. Alright, there we go. Ah, oh, we're finally here. Thanks again. The assistant nods her thanks to you and uses the geometric field to return. You successfully escort the assistant back to safety. Now you only return to the city. Alright, perfect. Yep. Ah, you turn to Central Lane Guard. You see the assistant heading towards you. Welcome back. You did another great job out there. Our work is finished, but we couldn't have done it without your help. Oh, don't forget to pick up your ward at the bar. Why don't we meet him again sometime? Preferably not as patient nurse, hee <laughs> hee. With a wand smile, the assistant waves happily before returning to the hospital. The quest is complete. Report your success to the bar and claim your reward. Oop. Uh, oop. Oh, well, yep. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's sell some stuff. All right, 57 items. All right. Ah, welcome back. I heard the news. You're all done. Sounds like you're close to, into that assistant to well, too. Well done. But you, you're having all fun. Remember, she's... Remember saving other people's green and all, but be sure to take care of yourself, too. Come back in time. Brave it. All right. Uh, let's see. Ooh, exterminators. Ah, excellent. This quest is perfect for you lot. It's another one from the dock. Looks like there has been a new development with the withering trees. I never paid attention to that stuff, though. Ask the man at the hospital. Good luck. Well, before that, let's go back over here. Start that. 
And I'll go to sleep. I meant to go to sleep, not leave. Oh, go. All right. Hello, can I help? Oh, it's you. I really must pay more attention. Did you take another one of our quests? Great. We actually found the cause of the disease at our last few requests. Remember the monster you fought at the time? You were right, it was the corporate. It seems to secrete a substance from the fangs that poisons this to plants. It enters the tree cells and alters the metabolism, causing the nutrients to flood outward. Oh, listen, me to unravel. Long story short, the monster is suddenly a mutation. Though it normally feeds off the lipid trees, it's beginning to poison them in the process. If we don't step in, the mutant strain could end up destroying the whole labyrinth. As a new mutation, their ability to redo, reproduce is still inhabitable, so we still have a chance. Their nest is the central of 18th floor. Exterminate them before it's too late. We're counting on you. Alright, yeah, we could do that. Uh, let's see, 18th floor should be a couple more. Okay. That should be no problem. We should be able to get there pretty fast. Okay, no, 18th floor is next, so should take the normal route. Right, uh, where exactly is it? Around here? Uh, maybe right, okay, I think it might be over there, maybe. Okay. Okay, you should be no problem now. Uh, to dampen bravery. First cut, smite. Uh, you refresh on yourself. Fragility and shelter. Okay. Didn't do okay. Uh, let's see, okay. Do sapping. Regular attack should be fine. As refreshed, can't do that. Okay, almost done. There we go. Alright. Oh. All right, another one of you. Uh, let's do a quick heal. Mm, dampen. Okay. Well, I'm out. A full heal. You're good.
There we go. Ah, oh, here we go. You see a shadow moving in the center, and she threw it up. You cannot mistake, it's one of the monsters you seek in digging into the soil here. It forces... It, it forces a task, not yet realize your presence. Now it's time to hunt the fiend, brandish your weapon, and prepare to battle. Uh, okay. Let's do a quick heal. And we'll do a quick save. Oh, you catch the monster as where and raise your weapon to kill. However, you suddenly notice the other signs of near life. The soil erupts around you as many creatures birth forced. From a tight defensive circle as the monster closes in. Well, oh, great. Oh, well, we could probably defeat these, no problem. Yep, there we go. And now for the final boss, maybe? At long last, you speed all the monsters and stand victorious. You clutch your weapon for a few more seconds, waiting for another ambush, but the danger is over. You slay the monsters that poison the forest, thereby saving the sleep girl. A branch, uh, you breathe a sigh of relief before noticing a sapling behind you that wasn't there before. You gaze upon the mysterious light it emits, wondering when it could have appeared. You uproot the small sapling and its shape in your hand becomes a luminescent staff. It's a yig staff. It, it bears its structural power, offer endless wisdom to the wilder. You are now the bearer of the most powerful staff on the land. The quest is success. Report back to the bar. Ooh, that a really good staff, huh? Oh, wow. 210. It's not that bad. But unfortunately, it doesn't come with any benefits. So, you know that you're going to be the one to hold the geek staff. Alright, so let's go back now. Let's sell some stuff. Yeah, perfect. And we'll sell this item since we don't need this one anymore. I should probably buy a couple more threads. There we go. And we of course gotta take a nap. And with that I gotta take another drink of water, so I'll be right back again. Alright, now that I got water in my system, we should be able to continue on now. Alright, so we finished the quest. Ah, welcome back. You finished the job? You never stopped, do you? The monster that poisoned the forest, huh? Why would a beastie like that destroy its own home? I mean, if it's all the trees die out, they're the ones hot in water, right? Well, I suppose it's a moot point now. I still can't get my head can't get my head around it, though. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. Here's your road. Go on and take it. Alright. Now, we got two more quests. Or three more. Oh, I think this might be it. You picked the right quest, but there's no guild, but you all can manage this one. They want someone to investigate the 22nd floor of the labyrinth. The client claims that everyone can make it all the way there without breaking a sweat and likely storing. And with no one takes a pop on it, he complains to me about it. I wish all the explorers are as strong as he. Lot. It makes my job damn easier. Uh, enough, my belly ache. can go to the Duke's Palace for the details. Alright. Bye. What can I do for you? Oh, yes, I did submit a request. Thank you for accepting it. I was certain no one would. I was worried about a retreat. I see that you reached halfway point to the Heavenly Keep already. How's it going? Well, 
Yes, yeah, so look at the map on the 22nd floor. Have you noticed this yet? As we investigate the castle, we're finding a new exterior on each level is identical. But compared to both 21st to the 22nd, both sides of the 22nd are missing. We search top and bottom, but can't find a way to access the missing area of the map. Clearly the layouts must be identical, however we can't count the missing space. We assume there must be a way to reach the missing region from the other floor. The map's going to do is fill in a complete accurate map, or we lost countless soldiers, rely, alright. We basically already did that though. Are you sure we did? Alright, so let's just go there and it should trigger it. You mapped out every corner of the 22nd, completing the map. You painstakingly the copy your finished work onto the second parchment so not to lose it. Investigating the library will be much more easier once the Grand Duchy has this. You carefully track your map onto the pack and take your leaves. And that will keep. Alright, well, that was easy. Alright. So, I got the map. Welcome back. Did you finish the map? Let's see now. Interesting. You have to go up to 24th floor to get there, huh? Would anyone who designed a castle like this must have been really touched in the head? I mean, spotting you would run in the bar at part of the 22nd floor. No one would be able to find the counter. The bartender would be polishing glass all day. Uh, I don't know why I even bother talking about this rubbish. Anyway, good work. Take your reward. See you next time. The second grail. Ah, oh, Fumu, that quest is specifically for you. The secret quest from the Grand Duchy. I can't even talk about it in public. To tell the truth, I don't like sending me on a quest that I don't know the first thing about. But I suppose if I can trust anyone, it's the folks in the Grand Duchy. Sorry, I can't tell you more. Go to the Duke's Palace. Good luck. Alright. So, here we go. Ooh, Explorers, I'm gonna ask you... You have another test, and I thank you for coming. Cast object, but I cannot publicly reveal the details of the quest. He became errant of the idea of sending you into the labyrinth with no information. Ho oh, ho, he's such an arrogant at most, but he treats you as his own comrades. I understand his feelings, and yet I cannot let this information out of the Grand Duchy. But enough formalities. On to the reason I brought you here. You are familiar with the Holy Grail, I'm sure, the cup that brings life. But... Our universe is perfectly balanced. There is an equilibrium on all things. Day and night, sun and moon, light and dark, holy grail and the foul grail. If you reach the ancient documents of the holy grail, you'll understand better. But the holy grail gives life. So the foul grail has the power to take away life. Our stance on the labyrinth says that whoever finds an item may keep it. I cannot alter that. But if the foul grail falls into the wrong hands... The duke or his daughter might be in danger. We all know what labyrinth artifacts are capable of. The foul grail's power could be real. Please find the foul grail and bring it to me. According to the documents, it's hidden somewhere in the heavenly keep. It says those who seek the sky through the cursed cup shrine, the sacred cup returns. To gain the cursed cup, bring the gold shard to the room center. There are all clues of the foul grail that we can glean on the documents. I assume the sacred Sacred cup refers to the Holy Grail. I have here the gold shards mentioned in the documents. Take it with you. May luck be with you. Alright. Okay, so I need to go. Where do I need to go? Heavenly Keep, but where do I need to go to Heavenly Keep? I kind of misread that. Oh, let's retrieve the f huh. Okay, so I need to- Okay, I need to go to 25. Okay, so let's go ahead and go from the Forbidden Wood. And then work our way down. And I need to go to D4, which is right over here. No, yep. 
Following the ancient document's direction, you walk to the center of the room. There is a mysterious voice ringing in your ears. As if you're entering in your mind directly, the voice unlocks your presence in the room. You hear a sound of clanging metal. Gold shards received from the minister has disappeared from your hand. At the same time, a silver object hangs in the air, defying all laws of gravity. It's a grill crafted by black silver and emitting ominous light. Carved into the surface of the faces, wrath and pain, their eyelids and jewels. Carved by resistance, you quickly snatch the grill, stow it in your bag. Well, that was easy. Well. Alrighty then, so... Let's go ahead and go back to town. Yo, Duke, we got the thing. Hello, I wonder where you were back in the labyrinth. I see. Okay, so... Thought we we're gonna keep this a secret. I guess not. Hey there, welcome back. Don't worry, I won't ask where you were up out there. I just suffered that you might die in the quest. He left totally dark about, but here's your lot back in one piece. Ooh, is that a grail? Sorry, but I wouldn't know what to begin with for it. I don't want to get mixed up in confidential business without the Grand Duchess' permission, but I'll contact him for you. Until then, don't let that thing out of your sight. Here's your word, thanks. Alright, uh, let's uh, put away the stuff that we got. I uh, don't need that stuff right now. Uh, okay, that's all that we have, just threads now. Hey, so I did it. Ah, uh, full moon. I wonder when you're back. Uh, Labyrinth, I see. So, okay, no, that's the same stuff. Okay. Uh, yes, I need to accept the next quest, probably. Blood for the Grail. This quest addressed to you a lot. The winged ones want to meet you. I'm sure you heard of a fellow, the Grand Duchy. That seems to be like suspicious, but... Don't, they did pay me back the broker fee and left a reward, so there's more or less on the up and up. And is it just me, or did you meet with the strange people in the line of work? I guess they could count on me for what's stored, huh? Here's the direction. Go to the place you meet meant to meet. Good luck. While the member says, I'll be waiting at the entrance to the floating castle. Alright, so that should be pretty much at the start of having a keep then. Alright, so should be right over here. Oh, let's just defeat these real quick. There we go. So would it be here? Uh, did I miss something? Should be right here, no? Hmm. Wait, I think I saw something that says talk. There we go, talk. Here we go. As you proceed to the cancel entrance, a man leaning in a pillar speaks to you, Full Moon. I'm sorry to ask that we meet in a place like this. I have called you out here that I might ask a question. Cut on his gazes in the sky before he speaks again. Almighty Nah, who heard voices of many people supposedly lived here, answer me honestly, Full Moon. Did Almighty Nah live here, or did our god exist at all? Well... If you count the thing that as a god, I guess, but we did defeat him. Well, there, something lived here. I don't know if it was the chief of the wing one's signs to hear your answer. I search every crypt in the castle and not find the sign of the mighty null. And I guess it wasn't the null then? Not as much. I sense no god in this castle. Can I continue to speak as it gazes suddenly into the clouds? Almighty no, what was our purpose in this world? As chief of my people, I must know who our god is. And ask him for what reason we exist in this world. Would you grant me in favor that I might sentient my curiosity? 
The answer I seek may lie in a place called Forbidden Wood above this castle. Come and look directly into your eyes. You may cooperate with him or refuse to go. Yeah, sure. Well, why not? Kind of smiles dubiously, and you nod at your scent. I heard that the you carry the foul growl with you. His word reminds you of another growl you obtained, which is still in your pack. No ordinary cup. It is the key to open the forbidden door. However, it cannot be used at present. You must awaken its power. Seeing that you don't understand, Kanan continues to explain. It requires a blood sacrifice in order to awaken. It not need be your own. Slay the demon roaming on the forest and pour their blood in the ground, then return here. Through the ground, we will not respond to the blood of the weak and sinful demons. You must feed it the blood of more powerful monsters. Chief winged one spreads his wings and flies into the floors below. You may enter the castle now or to begin the sacrifice or return to Langard. So I need to Hmm. Well, we could do the the harpy or I forget what this this one was called. Yeah, or you harpula. Yeah, we could do this one. Smite, uh, attack. Uh, let's try to poison you. Yep, didn't mean to do bravery again. Okay, almost there. There we go. After slaying the demon, you take the foul growl from the pack and pour the blood before your eyes. The growl gives off a red glow, and the arms carved in one sun shines. Though the blood is evidently inefficient, the cup dims, a vulture losing its light. What unearthly power could this growl possibly hold? Interesting. So we need more stuff, huh? Well, let's just get these FOEs around here real quick. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, let me go this way. <laughs> the swing. Huh. Up, 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 uh, got the swing. Uh, curse cut, smite, attack, and flip. There we go. Um, yeah. Dampen and shelter. Okay. There we go. After saying the demon, you take the foul girlfriend pack, pour the blood. Okay, not enough. Not enough. I uh, need to transfer a little bit. Oh. Okay, uh, got this, yeah, this way. Uh, curse cut, smite, uh, to sell, uh, 
Not dampen bravery. There we go. It's not enough. Right, not enough still. <laughs> All right, another round. Okay. Mm, still not enough. Uh, okay, there's a couple more FOEs around here. If not, I could go up to the next floor. Okay. Oh, I can't use curse cut, but that's fine. I can't use smite. I'll just do a quick heal. I'll transfer. Okay. Okay, I went against fire, but I don't have any fire. Uh stay curse cut, smite, uh, dampen and bravery. Mm -hmm. uh, not really weak against anything, but let me see if I could poison you. Not oh, perfect, poisoned you. Uh, this might. Uh, do you refresh? There we go. Uh, it goes, nope, still not enough. Oh, jeez, how many more do I need to fight? Okay, now I need to transfer some stuff real quick. Not perfect. Transfer some to the Hinata. Okay, so I'm going to need to do one more of the drop. And now we do curse cut. There we go. 
Alright. Uh, let's see. Okay, you're pretty much okay. Um, do dampen bravery. Ooh, I need a heal. There we go. Okay, the food soaks. After the blood has slowed. Oh! After the blood fully soaked into the grail, the faint glows faintly, brilliant red. Is this what the chief meant about the wicked in the grail? The chief request has been fulfilled. Go to the 21st floor. Alright, perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and heal though. Well, can't leave this one by itself. Might as well. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There you go. All right. Let's go to there. Uh, let's do quick. Sell the items that I don't need. There we go. And we'll take a good snooze. Alright. Uh, seeing you with the fell growl, the chief of the winged ones flies down from his pillar. I see you, wicked the growl. Foom. Full moon, please hand it to me. You give the growl to the chief. He looks at it satisfactorily before speaking again. You may already know, but on the 27th floor, there is a seal created by the former god. Go to that seal, full moon. I shall proceed there as well to break the seal's integrity with the power of this growl. Cut on springs his wings and gloves afloat with the growl. It will take some time to remove the seal, return to the town, and rest before we proceed. And with that, Kanan flies away. The quest complete. Report your success at the bar. Alright, cool. Alright, we did it. Hey there, what happened with the request you last took? Uh, no, it doesn't hear a peep from the client after you left. You finished the job, right? As long as you got... They all vouch for the client, I trust him too. It's dreadful being the manager, you know? Maybe he can give him me a message. Another no, joking around, here's your reward. I guess that's it. And the last quest that's on here for now. Uh, how's things? I got the usual client for you. Guild by the name of Isbat. Old member of theirs asked he for a special. Haven't seen you in a while, Full Moon. I thought I might never see you again at all. But now I have a favor to ask, and it's clear to me that only you can do it. You know, don't know much, and I appreciate if you could help me out on this. Miss Annandale disappeared into the labyrinth one day after you defeated the Ice Queen. Before we had a short mutual understanding with the monsters on that floor, we promised to protect them, and I believe breaking that promise distressed Miss Adeline. The guards saw her around the ninth floor of the second sanctum. We couldn't convince her to come back. You're the only ones that... The Blighted Guild has left. So that man wants to bring back this Andel bird, huh? The second thing it should be Child's Place for you lot. Why would he help the poor man out? Oh, mm, sure, but maybe later. Uh, let's go ahead and save real quick. Alright, so now we should be able to go explore the Sixth Sanctum finally. Alright, so I should be able to break the seal here now. We cursed stepped the mysterious landing up the air, but nothing seemed to happen. Okay. Uh, is it 
over here then? You enter the cave for Brenda Wood, feel that is you're being watched by someone. Oh, here we go. I'm sorry, I haven't made you wait. I'm now prepared for the ceremony. With the words, Khan looks around as the lifts the foul grail. Almighty Null says that Enbrigger waits into the depths of the Forbidden Wood. Our God has last instructed we're to open the Forbidden Door and put an end to this land. But do not misunderstand me. We do not wish everything to end as our God had commanded. If there is such a threat beyond this place. Yeah, I thought that we who know of existence must rid the wood of it. Our peoples forge you. Are teaching our law. We have followed these concepts since ancient times, but in absence of a guard, we might seize the chance to change. I would say yes, even with such a fearsome threat. I know that Full Moon can. Connor trails off and stares at you in intently. After a long silence, he speaks curly. The time has come to open the forbidden door. Connor lifts the foul grail and chants the avian language you are unable to comprehend. His voice gradually increases in volume until the ground and the air seems to tremble. Being light engulfed air, the foul grail has disappeared, the chief standing smiling. It is done. The forbidden door has been opened. All you must do is pull out the sword and the fo way forward will be clear. The expression glows in pain. He continues in a hushed tone. But be careful. Even I do not know what lies beyond. The chief blesses your journey before leaving the area. You may examine the sword in front of you, or return to once you're better prepared. Uh, let's do a quick save. Alright. You finally reach the deepest part of the far. Here before you stands a lone sword. It is driven into the ground, piercing the magical circle. Pull it out? Um, yeah. You take hold of the sword hilt, and the blade fully frees from the earth. Immediately after, the magic circle lets out a shockwave, causing you to drop the sword. It falls through the crack of the land, and disappears into a lower floor of the labyrinth. You feel a sudden earthquake. Quite the forest is no longer what it was. Your explorer tells you that a dangerous fiend is headed in your direction. The sense of malice is so strong that you are frozen in place. Can barely duck it out in time. Looming behind you is a gargantuan stone behemoth. There's no time to chase. After the lost sword, you must fight for your lives. Oh, hello. That's a golem, huh? Let's see. Let's dampen bravery. Uh, curse might. Uh, it still has dampen, so that's good. Fragility to erase. Okay, smite. Uh, I probably should definitely heal. Uh, don't. Dampen and fragility still, so I can maybe try corrupt. See if that would be good. Okay, I only have bravery right now, so I need shelter. Ah, uh, we're good. Uh, stamina, why not? Uh, let's actually do Excel again. Okay, oh, got rock soul again. Alright, okay, it has fragility only right now. So I need to do dampen again. Okay, so far it has this dampen. Still have everything. Okay, got rid of foot dampen. D 
And has regained now. Oh, I met a smite. Uh, let's try to bind its arms. And it race. All right. Uh, I think health wise, we're good. Uh, okay. It's gonna do damping again. There we go. Oh, it's back. Uh, it's back to... F All right. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna need a transfer. Uh, dampen is fine, so fragility. Transfer a little bit more. Okay, I need to transfer to you as well. Okay, just regular tech. Okay, that's lost everything. Uh, dampen again. Transfer a little bit more. Uh, fragility. Okay, I think that should be good. Uh, has we gain again? Okay, well, but we're good on the other part, but can use erasure. There we go. Whew. This time, Behemoth swung at you recklessly in an unyielding attempt to crush you. Each time, you narrowly escape encounter with the little force you can muster. After a long battle, it seems that last the fiend is no more. And she to fight. The stone behemoth bestows tremendous reward before collapsing onto the ground. You have mustered your fear and defeated the guardian of the forest of the god. You may resume your journey. Alright. On the ground before a magical circle, drained a kip. Alright. Oh! There's stuff around here now. Uh, should probably leave for now and regroup. Alright, let's just go ahead and regroup for now. Alright, let's go ahead and sleep. And I'll be right back. Let me drink some more water. I'm back. Alright, so let's go ahead and sell this golden rock. A hex mantle. Uh, armor. Okay, oh, it's armor for the hexer. Oh, okay, so I gotta save up some more money. I think. Okay, so I just need a couple, just two more pieces of armor for my main team. Right. Let's go ahead and go back and let's see. Let's check out the FOEs that were around here. 
real quick. See if. Uh, see. Okay, so it's on Therios. Uh, uh, curse cut, smite, uh, dampen, and bravery. Let's see what this one drops. Oh, you are very strong indeed. I'm going to have to use cells. Alright. And we're at five. I'll let you stay in just in case. Okay, there we go. It's a gem chip. Is that new? Okay, cool. That is a new item. So are these all gonna be the same enemy? Yeah, it's gonna be the same enemy. Uh, weak against ice, but again, I don't have elemental. Ooh, but you have a missed a conditional item. Not sure what the conditional item is yet. Uh, actually, let's just uh, escape for now, because I think they all should be pretty much the same. Unless I can't escape. There we go. Okay, let's just ignore you for now and go right here. Alright, so that's a warp, so let's get to know. So now we're officially exploring the Sanctum. Oh, new enemies. Oh, this music. I like this music. Yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and get rid of these real quick. Should probably heal first. Lower their defense and increase our attack. Okay, not too bad. Okay, we're good for now. So they're still frail. So I should be able to just attack them. A hundred. Oh, interesting. Some more items. Nice. All right. Oh, another. Teleportation. Okay, so this place is just full of teleportation stuff. Let's see, can I do auto battle? Mm, crabs are a bit more difficult. Seems like they have a lot of defense, so I definitely gotta at least lower their defense one time. Uh, definitely got a heal now. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, alright. Actually increase our... Alright, let's see. There we go. Moss shell. Alright, so hopefully these are some good items that we're getting. Alright, let's see. Oh, another teleportation. And we got two paths that we can take. Alright. Uh, okay. Let's do a quick assessment. Alright, so those things are gonna constantly heal. Okay, good to know. So I gotta get rid of these ones as soon as possible. Oop, oh, smite these one at a time at the very least. And lower the defense.
Man, they really heal a lot. Oh, dang, I'm out of smite. I'm out of TP. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, so if I find more than one of these things, it's going to be very troublesome. Alright, so hopefully this stuff gives me a good amount of money. Uh, let's just escape for now. Well, okay, there we go. Ooh. All right, so I got two ways. Uh, let's go this way. All right. All right, let's just escape these ones for now. Okay, let's just, oh. Okay, so one of these things. But... Ooh, that was very strong. Okay, as long as my healer didn't go down, we should be fine. Okay, that's another teleportation, but uh, let's just continue searching around here real quick. Okay, that's another teleportation. Oop, that's another FOE. Alright, let's try to escape this. Perfect. That goes... Okay, that's a chopping area, so that's definitely not what I need. So I am, I am gonna have to use up the red. Alright, okay, let's go hide it and sell some stuff, see if we can get some new equipment. Mm, not something I can use. Now well, let's just go ahead and heal up real quick. Alright. And now we go back. Alright, now that we're healed up, we should be able to explore a little bit more. Alright, let's go this way. See where this one leads us. Okay, that just leads us over here, which is not good. But that's fine. So, this way. Okay, these are just going to heal each other, so... Yeah, it seems like these things just heal each other. So just got to focus on one at a time. Yeah, only no saliva, so I can only heal. Okay. Let's see this way. Okay, new location. Oh, hello. Oh, come on, stop missing. There we go. A king cap and golden spore. Okay. 
Okay, okay, we'll go there. And there's also another one that could go around here. Okay. Alright, I uh, got a curse cut, smite, regular attack. There we go. Ah, uh, these are gonna be a pain. There we go. Ooh, that was a little bit more consuming. Okay, so got oh, oh. Yeah, you again. Alright, well hopefully I can defeat this. I know I can't defeat it. Never mind, I cannot for some reason got the upper hand this time around. And we gotta go. Okay, well that was not very helpful. Ooh, a new helmet. Alright, so... Ooh, yes, this is better than Maru. Definitely gotta get you that one. Mm. Yeah, that one's better than for boot. Okay, that's good. Okay, doke. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. And we will take a nap or sleep. Okay, Duke. Actually, and with that, I think I'm probably just going to end it right here. So I'll continue on, try to grind some more, try to probably do a couple more retires. So I can get more experience, more, a little bit more items. But yeah, so until tomorrow. So I'll be back again tomorrow uh, around 11 to 11.30 PSD, Pacific Standard Time. Uh, yeah, alright. So thank you for watching. I do appreciate everyone that is watching. And until next time, I am Moon Mist, and I'll see you again tomorrow.